In our lifetime, we visit tons of places and have both good and bad experiences. But the bad ones tend to stick out the most, causing people to write some bad reviews. We searched all over Yelp and found one-star reviews at the lowest rated places in my city, and we'll be testing to see if they're true. Starting with breakfast here at the lowest review Dunkin' Donuts in my city, 2.5 stars. I've been going here for a while now, and I'm never going back. Went through the drive-thru after work and was sipping my drink on the way home. It's dark out about 6 30 p.m. so I can't see anything just yet. I get home and see there's a moth in my coffee. Yes guys, a moth. That must be a one in a million, maybe even a billion chance to find a moth in your coffee. So that's exactly what we're gonna see. Many of the other one star reviews mentioned how stale the pastries and donuts were. So I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast. These are looking fire. They are though. Come on. Hey, you did put me onto a menu item from here. Oh yeah. It's the stuffed bagel minis. They're yeah, actually a, fire. I mobile order right now. It's already here. Really? You yeah. ordered one before we got here? Yeah. <laughs> the girl in the review didn't mention exactly which coffee it was, but I'm just gonna get a regular iced coffee. Can I just do a medium iced coffee? Can I do the pumpkin spice, actually? Can you just get me, like, your favorite pastry and donut? What did you get me here? Blueberry cake donut and then a pumpkin muffin. Wow. Oh, no. Is that you? <laughs> hey, have a phase rug day. I appreciate you so much. <laughs> Thank you. So the definition of a phase rug day. Positivity, spreading love, spreading kindness, putting a smile on your face. By the looks of it, guys, it's looking moth free. All right, we'll do a little taste test. This is the first time I've had a pumpkin drink from Dunkin', and this is actually fire. All right, coffee, no moth. All right, we're gonna try the pastries. That's not stale. It's actually pretty warm, too. Let's try the, I think it was the blueberry. Beautiful bite. That's really good. I honestly don't see how this Dunkin' has so many low reviews. Customer service, on point. Pastries, delicious. And of course, most importantly, the coffee, top tier, 4.5 stars. This is Vin Hung, which is an Asian supermarket, and it is rated three stars. We looked through all the reviews, and one of the craziest ones had to be this. Stopped by this market after dining at Nan Nan and was grossed out by what I saw at the pastry table. I first thought it was chocolate chips from afar, but upon closer inspection, it was mold. I stopped two employees to tell them about about it, but they just ignored me. Why couldn't they just take it off the shelf? I immediately put back the other pastries I was going to buy because I no longer trust their quality. Buyers beware. This was my local Asian supermarket growing up. My mom would come here all the time and I had nothing but good experiences here. If you guys didn't know, this actually used to be a movie theater. You can kind of tell the layout looks exactly like a movie theater. Well, let's head inside and check out the pastries. Also, one of the other crazier ones I saw is that they said they found bugs in a bag of rice. So we're gonna check that out too. Dude, this was definitely the concession stand at the movie theater where they had like popcorn and all the candy and everything. Dude, I saw a TikTok where this guy said that anytime YouTubers go to old nostalgic places, they're like, ah, oh, this is where I used to shop when I was a kid. All the comments were like, that's what FaZe Rug does. Cause I was literally about to say right now, oh, this brings back so many memories from when I was a kid. Me and my mom would be here all the time. We got the rice right here. I mean, it looks clean to me, bro. A lot of these reviews could be like a one in a million chance of that happening. Don't see any bugs off the bat. Seems pretty sanitary to me. Don't notice anything out of the ordinary. Well, what is this? Bro, this looks good. A passion fruit juice. I'm gonna have to cop. Oh, wait. This is a can that I made a light in wood shop out of. Like, they always told us to get, like, a can like this. So we got this, and I turned it into a light in wood shop in sixth grade. The memories are crazy here. I'm doing the nostalgic thing again. We found the desserts and bakery. Oh, my gosh. This is banana bread, bro. Oh, my gosh. Ube. That is insane. We're gonna have to grab one of these, bro. Nothing looks green to me here. After further inspection of all the pastries, everything seems to be looking normal here. I'm gonna buy this and test it out. All right, we got the ube pastry right here. Look at that purple, bro. The bread is actually the Hawaiian rolls, which are fire, and then ube right in the middle. Let's try it out. Oh my gosh, I love ube so much. Gotta wash it down with the passion fruit. Hold up, bro. It's matching my bikini bottom shorts, bro. This is authentic, bro. Look inside. It's the actual passion fruit. Overall, I think this place should definitely be rated higher than a three-star in general. But of course, there's people that have bad experiences and whatnot. But I feel like this is like a four-star place. Classic McDonald's. This specific one rated 2.2 stars. It's packed to say the least, though. First off, they forgot to pack my sauces and my pie. Fries were old and soggy. And to top it off, I bit into my burger. And this is what I saw. Pink undercooked meat. Unacceptable. Do not come here. But we are here and we are about to head inside. You can never go wrong with McDonald's. It's late at night, you're hungry, you're going to McDonald's. Let's see if the burger is as pink as that picture. I really hope not. But the review was from two years ago, so we 
always have to take that into consideration as well. Can I do a cheeseburger and fries, please? And then what's your favorite pie? Thank you, customer service so far, top tier. We got the food, we got the pie. Let's go, baby, they didn't forget the pie. Arguably some of the best fast food fries of all time. It's between McDonald's, Raising Cane's, and In-N-Out for me. I feel like anytime you get fast food and you're going drive-through and you drive home, it's more likely for your food maybe to be a little bit more soggy because it's sitting in your car. But I feel like anytime you actually eat at the fast food restaurant, it's super, super fresh. But the moment of truth here is the meat pink. Not pink at all. Tastes like the McDonald's I know and love. We gotta get the taste test on her recommendation of pie. Oreo pie. Five stars. I think I'm subscribed to you. No way. You wanna get a picture? Sure. Yeah, let's do it. All right, thank you. Have a good day, okay? Yeah, let's do it. I just left the drive through real quick, bro. Oh, dude, hell yeah. Don't get in trouble. Don't get in trouble. Hey, can you take it? I got you. I got you. Hey, hey appreciate you. Hey, you. Have a good day, okay? You too, bro. Thank you. I love my supporters so much. It's not a worst reviewed video without a hotel. So we got one of the worst reviewed ones in San Diego. Overall, 1.7 stars. I'm afraid of this one, man. So here are some pictures to pop up. Someone found a cockroach in their room and just a lot of stains on the refrigerator and the walls in general. Our original room had cockroaches. We complained to the front desk and reassigned us to another room. We asked the front desk if we were able to grab our item from the previous room, but he advised that he will have the cleaners send it to our room, which never happened. The new room was filthier, chewed up, bitten, and rusted furniture. Unclean fridge inside and out, sticky and disgusting floors. You already know we got our UV light for this too. We complained again to another worker at the front desk. He was not helpful and needs to train on health, safety, and sanitation. The situation was not solved and he called the police. They heard both sides, which they told us that they weren't able to do anything and advised us to contact the health department instead. The manager was also contacted and had kicked us out for quote unquote trespassing. All right, let's go book a room and see if we find anything crazy. Got the key, we're heading upstairs with the black light. Oh, it smells. It smells like cigarettes, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's the first thing I noticed. All right, light doesn't work, it's okay. Let's try turning these on. Okay, off rip. It smelled pretty bad, but we've walked into some nastier hotel rooms in the past. It's a bed bug. Is it? Bro, it's it a, is. It's a bed bug. That's so disgusting. Is that a bullet hole? Bro, I don't know. Oh, so let's scope it out. Okay, let's see the bathroom. Is this lopsided, bro? Wait, it only has one leg. What the heck? <laughs> Oh, dude, it's literally like hanging off the wall. Why is there a microwave right here? Absolutely no idea. It makes <laughs> no sense, bro. It makes no sense here. I feel like the microwave would be somewhere there. Hold on, let's check out the bathroom though. You see the stain? Dude, wait. One of the pictures had a refrigerator. We don't have a refrigerator in here, bro. <sighs> see the door. It's not horrible, bro. I mean, stain right there. I think where we're gonna see the most is through the black light. Because if you look at the shower head, bro, like you can already tell it just looks so dirty. Dude, like was there supposed to be a nightstand here to match the other side? I feel like there's something missing in this room. Just spotted this as well. But, all right, let's try to get the room as dark as we can. I feel like we're about to do a ghost investigation right now. Main thing is the bed. You want to find no stains. <gasps> bro, look at this. Is that red? Yeah. Oh, is that red as well? Yeah. Dude, no. Under is the most important. I'm actually impressed by how many stains we haven't found. Like this, of course, we saw it in the light. I just see a lot of red. Just little stains like that. Could be ketchup, you know, late night. You bring some french fries and ketchup. Splashes over there. Ooh, some stains here. Let's check under this. This is where you'd probably see the bed bugs. Oh, it's ripped right there. You see it? Oh, what is this? Uh, bro. Let's go into the bathroom. Okay, pretty clean. Dude, I've seen a lot worse in the past. We haven't seen any cockroaches. There's obviously stains all over the wall. It's not the worst. I'm gonna give this a three and a half stars. Before we continue the video, here's a word from today's sponsor. Guys, I am super excited to announce my brand new partnership with Underdog Fantasy, the easiest place to play fantasy sports, and it's available in 32 US states. You just pick higher or lower on your favorite player stats, and you can win big, sort of like this. Do you think I'm gonna make this shot in higher or lower than three attempts? Let's find out. One. That's one attempt. Attempt number two. 
just like that. If you said lower, you would have got that pick right. I'm super hyped that the NFL season is back. We are on week number two, and here are my picks. I'm taking Justin Herbert higher in passing yards, Christian McCaffrey lower in rushing yards, and Justin Jefferson higher in receiving yards. If I get all three of them right, I'll get 6x my money. Sign up on Underdog Fantasy right now by clicking the link in the description, or you could scan this QR code and use promo code RUG. Underdog will match your first deposit up to $100. It is going to be a great sports season. Let's get right back into the video. Movie theater, 2.4 stars. But check out this review. Nasty chairs, cold popcorn, WTF, wasn't even busy. Isn't that a good thing that it's not busy? I sat down to eat popcorn and wasn't even warm, shaking my head. Sodas was good, cold, and fresh. However, was up with the seats. Bar rescue on the seats and popcorn. Might as well say my enjoyment was a fail. Movie was cool. Staff was cool. That's a plus. But a miss on the popcorn and seats. They actually attached a picture of the seats, as you can see on the screen, and then a picture of the kid's neck. So actual scrapings of the seat went on this guy's neck. So we're going to examine the seats, and then we definitely need to buy some popcorn to see if it's fresh. All right, well, we can't walk in with a camera, so uh, we're going to switch to iPhone now. Guys, first impression of the movie theater, it's actually nice. It gives off like a nice little retro vibe. They got an arcade over there. They got a party room here. They got another arcade over there. The employees are really, really nice. Now we're about to try the popcorn. Okay, popcorn, warm, very good. We're gonna see the seats though. Dude, it's giving like 90s vibes. No, this is like Five Nights at Freddy vibes too. Here's a video of the seats. I recorded about two rows because I didn't want to be obnoxious with the flash, but it seems pretty accurate to the photos on Yelp. All right guys, just left the movie theater. Honestly, it wasn't that bad. The seats were a little bit worn out. That's the only thing I'd give as feedback is to probably upgrade the seats. But other than that, the vibe of the movie theater, insane retro 90s vibes. They said that they they actually get new movies way earlier than other movie theaters, which is sick. Overall, it wasn't bad. If they can upgrade the seats, that's my only feedback. Oh, uh, oh, thank you so much for the support, guys, for real. Thank you're you so much. You're so much taller than I thought, dude. No way, you're lying. You think I'm taller? Yes. Everyone says that I'm shorter in person, so that means the world to me. Five foot six gang, stand up. We taller in person, baby. We are at the worst reviewed arcade in my city, and it's rated 2.6 stars. I used to come here when I was younger, you know, when I was like 16, 17. It was lit from what I remember you know it's been like seven years so we'll see what happened this review is actually from 10 months ago this place has so much potential but the visit is beyond disappointing more than half of the games are currently out of service it's a saturday night and people are clamoring for a few games that are left for example, Pac-Man's out of service, Air Hockey, Deal or No Deal, not Deal or No Deal, bro. If Deal or No Deal is out of service at Dave & Buster's, I'm leaving. Three out of the four ski balls are down, one out of two Mario Kart games are down, etc. Very disappointing visit for the money. I guess we're gonna go in there and see how many games actually work, if it's worth the money, because there's a lot of reviews saying that everything's overpriced, but we'll check it out. That's a massive play area right there. By the looks of it, everything seems to be on right now. So let's get a closer look here. Uh-oh, where is it? I'm just kidding. This is actually a really lit arcade like they have everything look at that they actually have a ride they have bumper cars bro okay nah this is sick this is sick spin the wheel bro come on hey this kind of looks scary i feel like that goes upside down oh we're responsible for the motion of this ride one side must lean forward while the other leans back that's kind of scary so we're gonna go on this first and noah's gonna be on it with me and he said he's gonna try to make me throw up it was your idea to go on hey did they complain about this yeah they said one of the two is broken seems like they fixed it in the past 10 months how was this rated 2.6 Six stars. Well, we'll see if I throw up, it's a one star. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let me know if you want to stop it. Oh. Noah, Noah, please chill. Yo! All right, here we go. Oh! Ah! Um. Okay, okay. Oh my god. Yo. Yo! Yo! We're done already? Yo, hold on, guys. You don't understand how nauseous I get, bro. Hurt a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. 66.32. Oh! Oh! Oh, ah, almost nine. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> Everything seems to be working in this arcade. It's a nice vibe. They got a playground. They got rides. They got yeah, VR. Okay, I don't know how this is a two star. Like, in my opinion, I think this is at least 4.5 stars. Especially if we were kids. This is a dream if you're a kid. We kind of are, though. That's what it's all about, bro. Trying to have fun. 7-Eleven rated 2.5 stars. A look at this review. Women working tried to fight me and my friends. Not sure what we did to set her off. Felt bad that we were stepping in her freshly mopped floor, so we said, oh no. And then she proceeded to threaten us with violence. Slurpees were good though. All right, let's go see if someone tries to fight us. I'm a cherry and blue raspberry guy. Chilling. Hey, nice to meet you. 
What? Are you serious? No, let me take care of your stuff. Please, please, please. I got you. Okay, it's gonna be a battle of who pays first then. No, dude, thank you so much. I appreciate that. What was your name? Sergio, bro. Sergio Brian, nice to meet you. Bye. Hi, nice My to meet you. A huge fan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just saying hi to him on video for Of me? course, yeah, yeah. You guys are really nice, by the way. Yo, what's up, Jesus? Thank you so much for watching my videos. Hey, love you. Thanks so much. All right, take care. Thank you. The only honest thing about that review is that the Slurpees were good, though. Overall rating, 4.2 stars. Carl's Jr. rated a 1.5 star. This might actually be the lowest reviewed place that we've been to in this entire video. I ordered a chicken sandwich with a burger meal and the lettuce was brown. Let's not talk about how I thought they were closed because the server didn't greet me at the order machine. I had to drive up to order from the cashier station just to watch her texting on her phone. You thinking what I'm thinking? We gotta go through the drive-thru. Drive-thru. I actually want one of these reviews to be accurate. Just don't take our order. So we're gonna get a chicken sandwich and see. The lettuce is brown. So no fried zucchini. Yeah, we don't have fried zucchini. Can I do a chicken sandwich? Thank you. Response time, pretty fast. Hi. Oh my God. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, let's get a picture. <laughs> no, but you know what's crazy is like she didn't have to pull it out from the back or anything like it was literally just sitting at the register <laughs> Hey, honestly though like it would be different if it was like a rush hour and then she's like taking pictures of me But like I feel like this is acceptable. I have high hopes that this lettuce will be fully green Wait, where's the lettuce? I guess I didn't read the menu properly. It doesn't come with lettuce. I give myself a one star Hey, but customer service five star from them. We're gonna ask for a side of lettuce here That's what we came here to investigate. Excuse me. Can I get a side of lettuce, please? Thank you so much guys All right, have a good one the moment of truth the grand reveal. It looks clean to me Tastes good to me. Five star. Guys, I'm very baffled that Chuck E. Cheese is even on this list. My childhood is rated a 2.8 stars. But here's a review. Over two years ago. Found a screw in mine and my daughter's drink. Like, really? That's not safe at all. Manager didn't care at all. Was hella rude. Didn't care when I was talking to her. Unprofessional for a manager to act like that. I'm making sure something happens to this place. A lot of the other reviews were just talking about how long the food takes to come out. So I think we should just order a pizza, order a drink and see how long the pizza takes to come out. We'll time it. I highly doubt we're finding a screw in our drinks. I've been to this specific Chuck E. Cheese and it's a banger one. They actually have a lot of stuff here. I'm surprised that it's even on the lower end of ratings. Can we do um, a medium pizza? And then can I just do like a large drink? I gave you guys a little bit. What? Thank you so much. You're the best. Here you go. Ooh, number 24. Yes. That's good luck. Come on. <laughs> Thank you so much. So we ordered it at 5.40 p.m. But wait, how are people going to find a screw in their drink if they just give you the cup, right? That's kind of Weird. I feel like a lot of people lie in reviews if they had just a little bad of an experience Like some people might actually go above and beyond because that review didn't have a picture Like if I found a screw in my drink, I'm taking a picture of that. Imagine I do this. It's all just screws and nails <laughs> Got my screw free cherry Pepsi Tastes good. Now we're gonna wait for the pizza. Remember, 5.40 p.m. is when we ordered it. You guys wanna say what's up to the vlog? Of course, of course, give me a hug, give me a hug. How are you guys doing? Oh my gosh. Hey, you guys are awesome. Thanks for the support. Have a good one, okay? We paid for it. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. Dippin' Dodds. 17 minutes. I think that's an average time for a pizza to be made. Honestly, I'd want them to take their time, bro. I want it to be fresh. And I feel like 17 minutes is a perfect time for a pizza to be made. Even the conspiracy theory from a long time ago of like recycling pizza, all the edges look good. It doesn't look sketch. Everyone knows Chuck E. Cheese pizza, one of the best pizzas of all time. I think to end off the video, we gotta end it with a walk. Make sure you guys drop a like, hit that subscribe button. Love you guys so much. See you all with the next video. Peace.